Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous videos, till the previous videos, we integrated the smart form inside our report and yes, whenever we are clicking on to this button, our smart form is calling. It is displaying the output in the smart form. Now, what we will do? Now, we will go for proper font, proper indentation, proper alignment. Suppose I want to make bold, I want to make italic, I want to make underline, I want to provide some color. These all things I can achieve through smart style. So, what is the purpose of the smart style? The purpose of smart style is to give proper font. Suppose customer is saying, I want a font of 16 for SO item details. Suppose customer is saying, whatever the labels are there, they want in bold. Suppose customer is saying they want left aligned, right aligned, centered aligned. So all these things we can achieve through smart style. Suppose customer is saying they want proper coloring also. Suppose they want red color, blue color. All these things we can achieve through smart style. So what we will do? Suppose for this SO item details, SO creation date and SO created by. For these three things, for these three labels, we will go for bold and font of 16, suppose. Okay. Suppose these labels, whatever is in that table, whatever is in that table, we will go for suppose font of 12 and in bold for these three we will go for font of 16 and bold for these six labels of that table we will go for bold and font of 12. so what we will do i will go to smart style transaction code we will create two paragraph format, one for bold and 16, one for bold and 12, and then I will assign in the smart form. You can go for your look and feel whatever customer require. I will show you these two things. You can rest go for underline color, whatever you want to do based upon the customer requirement. Now, Whenever you want to go for smart style, we have a dedicated transaction code smart styles. Now, if you do not want to go for smart styles transaction code, you can directly go through your smart, we can go through smart forms also. I will log in again. We have a dedicated transaction code to go to the smart style. The transaction code is smart styles. With the help of this transaction code, we can create a style or we can navigate through smart forms also. Suppose if I will go to smart forms, through smart form also, you can create a smart style by choosing this radio button. Ultimately, it will navigate to smart styles transaction code only. So now, again, we need to follow the instruction document because we are treating this as a real project. So I will see what are the naming conventions to create a smart style. ZSS underscore relevant name. So I will give the name. Suppose I'm saying ZSS underscore sales ORD. You can give any name, yes, but it must be relevant. I will go for create. 
whenever i will create this is smart style transaction code only so if you are giving the name through smart style yes it will the same to same window will appear same to same suppose if i will go to back button and i will not say through smart style transaction code itself i will go i will say zss underscore sales ord i have not saved that so it will allow me to give this name i will go to create have you seen the same to same screen is appearing now i will give the short description to the smart style suppose i will say smart style for sales order now now i will create two paragraph formats one for the font of 16 and bold one for the font of 12 and bold so i will simply right click on the paragraph format i will create a node now you need to give two digit number you need to give two character two character name to the paragraph format so you can give any name it is totally your wish suppose i am giving a f suppose a f is bold and font 16 now you can choose the proper alignment whatever you want you want to go for left right centered justified suppose i will take it as left aligned only because for this particular part left is okay if i will go to your program if i will give the various things i'll just execute for this i'll say okay left is okay so i will simply simply give the left aligned now i will go to font now i need to choose the font family and what is the most popular family we know times is the most most popular family so i will choose times font size we want what 16 now font style we have bold bold italic and italic depends upon the requirement you can choose the proper font style suppose i am taking bold you can go for underline if you want underline you can choose the color if you want to choose the color we have the option to choose the color also and here you can see the preview you can see the preview it will appear like this to the customer i will save now do not save as a local object save into the package and the transport request by the description i recognized that it is the right transport request i am using now i will create another paragraph format because that has a different font suppose my another paragraph format suppose i will give tf you need to give two character name you can give anything suppose i am saying it is bold and font is 12 now for this i will take the alignment as center why i am taking the alignment as center so that these labels will appear in the center here will appear in the center so i will take centered aligned i will take font font family we know times I will take the font size 12, font style, suppose bold. I am saving it. Now I created two paragraph formats. 
Now I'm checking the syntax. It is, this is explained in smart form playlist also. I will get a syntax error, but it is saying header data is not filled. If I will go to header data, you can see in the drop down, whatever the paragraph formats you created, they are appearing here. If we will create 50 paragraph format, 20 paragraph format, all will appear here. But out of those, you need to choose one and provide in the header data. Now the question comes, if we are passing one paragraph format in the header data, how, how it will make advantage? Yes. Whenever we will go to smart form, whatever we are giving in header data, that will act as a default paragraph format. So whatever we are passing here in header data, it will act as a default paragraph format in the smart form. Once I will assign, I will show you also how, how it is acting as a default. Suppose I'm taking AF as a default paragraph format. Default, I will say I assigned in the header data. I will check the syntax. Now there's no syntax error. Yes. And now I'm activating the smart style. So we created the smart style with two paragraph format one with AF and another with TF. Now we need to assign these paragraph format inside the smart form. That part we will continue in the next video. So what is the summary of this particular video? Customer never accept the vague kind of output because ultimately layouts are very important which will be gone to the different customers, different countries. Yes. So we can give the proper font alignment, indentation, color, bold, italic, underline, everything we can do through smart style. So what we took, we took the requirement that these three labels, we will go for bold and font of 16. These all labels, we will go for bold and font of 12. So we went for smart styles, transaction code, or you can navigate through smart forms, transaction code also. We created two paragraph formats, one for font of 16, one for font of 12. Yes, we choose bold in both the cases. One paragraph format must be assigned in the header data that will act as a default paragraph format whenever we will assign in the smart form. Now, in the next video, we will use this prop, we will use this smart style and the corresponding paragraph format inside the smart form. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.